I would just say to my, my friend from uh, Texas that uh, until the leadership in the Senate changed the current leadership seven years ago, we always did appropriations by debating and advancing individual things. The idea that we would only do this by, if you, you, you we, we don't want to debate anything if we don't debate everything, that makes no sense. It's not the way the government should run. Uh, I think this, the House is not only well intended, that their their goal is a worthy goal. And at uh, the, the, uh, Depart the National Institute of Health, uh, the, the House of Representatives, led by Republicans beginning in 1995, doubled, doubled NIH funding in 10 years. My good friend from South Dakota and I were there for the majority of that 10-year doubling of NIH funding. Uh, last year in the Appropriations uh, Committee markup, uh, I voted for a, a bill that would add a billion extra dollars to NIH funding. It was defeated in the committee. This year I voted for a bill that would add a billion, almost a billion and a half dollars of additional funding to NIH funding. Uh, this makes a difference in the lives of people. Uh, Francis Collins, the director of NIH, Dr. Francis Collins, has estimated that each week that there's a shutdown, um, his agency's research hospital would have to turn away an estimated 200 patients. He estimated 30 of those patients would be children. Every week of a shutdown. Now, I know that they took the, 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 the children and the individuals that were coming Monday and Tuesday, but are now beginning to notify people, if you were scheduled to come, we've got 4,000 people working and, and 14,000 people not working. We can't accept you right now. And I think this is a the right thing to do. It's an easy thing to do if we would just stand up and do it. Uh, if we don't oppose NIH, and I don't believe there's a senator that does, why don't we continue their funding and do it right now? I was impressed by 